<coughs> so let us come back and learn the next set of reactions of your amine, uh, amines chapter. So how did I start my chapter basically? I have given you an uh, you know a type of conversion process so, so that it's uh, clearly understood and you can have a mind mapping in your this one mind mapping so that it's easy for you to write in the exam. So we studied whenever you have to prepare amines right your basic thing you should first take convert <coughs> nitro group to <coughs> sorry amines this is what i said isn't it from amines you can convert it into cyano group and i've also shown you the series of steps and further what did i do i've taken this amine and i've shown you different types of reactions in the earlier video yes so how did i teach you i took the nitro and then by reduction process i did amino but today we are going to learn other than nitro what are the different groups which will give amino so let us write or learn the preparations of primary amines yes by reduction process so we are going to learn under process called reduction <coughs> yes so whenever i speak about reduction i have to basically speak in terms of reducing agents so what are the different reducing agents i can use i can use a metal in the presence of acid i can use fe in the presence of acid so all these are reducing agents i can use lithium aluminium hydride as a reducing agent i can use sodium metal in the presence of ethanol this is also a reducing agent so yeah <clears throat> i can use any of these to convert or to reduce that particular given compound yes with that data with reducing agents i'll start my topic so i have to prepare primary amines by reduction of what what am i going to reduce i'm going to reduce three important products what are they first i'm going to reduce reduction of nitro compounds Yes, done. Now we are going to take a reduction of <coughs> uh, nitriles. Okay, nitriles. Let us underline. Next, we are going to learn a reduction of amides. Okay, this is how it was given in your textbook also. Yesterday, we studied this category and I further went uh, teaching you. We have prepared amines, then amines. And then we have gone to preparation of BDC also. I have shown the pre pre different types of reactions of BDC also. So, let us come back and learn further more preparations of amines. So, reduction of nitro compounds. So, I said reducing agents are those. Let's, let us write the general formula. RNO2 plus okay i am using a reducing agent like sn by hcl or fe by hcl so this is a reducing agent in the exam if you find this particular reagent it means you have to add hydrogen so now i have to remove this oxygen and add hydrogen to this isn't it so let me add six hydrogens to this i'll tell you why when i add six hydrogens two will go here so what do you get r NH2 already two have gone we still have four so four hydrogen come out as two water molecules with this oxygen so didn't I prepare primary amine so let us write with a general example suppose if I take CH3NO2 okay nitromethane yes so let us write nitromethane again I am going to add six hydrogens simple we are going to take reducing agent sn by hcl or fe by hcl reducing agent simple you have to remember the reducing agents and go to exam now here this oxygen is released out and among six four or two will add here please see two hydrogens so what do i get i am going to get ch3 nh2 one and the leftover out of six two have gone four are left four will come out with this as two water molecules always remember so this is nitromethane and this is if i have to name methyl amine okay right methyl amine okay otherwise if you want to write methyl and okay nitromethane correct methyl amine nitromethane let us write for aromatic if i have to take nitrobenzene right this is nitrobenzene i'm going to add again add six hydrogens to this and the same story use reducing agent hcl again or or you can also use reducing agents like iron in the presence of hcl what do i get two hydrogens will go here simple what do i get i get aniline nh2 and the leftover comes out as two water molecules this is how you're going to prepare using reducing agents so till now i did this yesterday and i further proceeded now i'm stopping it here done let us come back to nitriles what are nitriles nitriles are nothing but cyano group done let me write general formula r c triple bond n 
right so <coughs> cyano group are called nitriles now i have to reduce all the reduction isn't it now i'm going to use a reducing agent let us pick up lithium aluminium hydride or sodium in the presence of ethanol anything simple now what do you require first important thing whenever you have triple bond this triple bond you this bond first breaks correct yes when you are breaking this bond simple yeah two hydrogens here and two hydrogens will add here then only you will get your primary alkene or sorry, primary amine yes we are preparing primary amine so how many do i need i here need only four hydrogens why do i need four hydrogens just observe two will attack here by breaking the double bond and two will attack here by breaking the double bond what do i get then i get r c h 2 n h 2 simple no water molecule here because there is nothing no oxygen to form let us write an example when i have to write an example c h 3 c triple bond n what am i doing i am going to take four hydrogens again i am going to introduce reducing agent here i am not i don't have place that's why i am writing r a so what did i say two hydrogens will add here two hydrogens will add here what product do i get i get ch3 ch2 nh2 let us name this compound so now how should i name we have tried different combinations i know i'll kind of simple start from this right this is methyl cyanide alkyl cyanide so this is alkyl cyanide this is methyl cyanide simple write that so let us name this hide in a place i am writing methyl cyanide done now what happened to the product here two carbons are there so this becomes <coughs> ethyl amine primary amine done yes now let us come back and start with an aromatic ring now i have an aromatic compound with c triple bond n what is this compound there is no other group attached to cyano cyano is directly attached to benzene so this is phenyl cyanide to this phenyl cyanide i am going to introduce or pick up these four hydrogens and add a reducing agent for example like sodium in the presence of ethanol so these this reducing agent is going to add to add two hydrogens here and add two hydrogens here then what do i get i get a compound like benzene ring okay full now c has become ch2 then this is nh now what is the difference this is phenyl group with a cyano compound yes i just added hydrogen let us take that out so that's not confusing to you all now to the phen ben uh, phenyl cyanide now you have one more uh, group ch2 then only amine so this is called benzylamine if you have a group attached to benzene ring adjacent to your uh, functional group then we call it as benzyl so name it as benzyl amine done yes mm -hmm. so what did we prepare here we took nitro we prepared methylamine here i took nitro again i prepared uh, aniline here i took cyano i reduced it i prepared ethylamine one carbon um, higher than this means like one carbon higher means that sorry the carbon has got the hydrogen one hydrogen higher than here two hydrogens here two hydrogens again you have cyano i added four hydrogens two will add here two will add here done now let us see amides so what are amides r c o n h2 are called amides so again i am going to add reducing agents like sodium in the presence of ethanol c2h5oh so how what happens <coughs> important thing you are going to add hydrogen okay two hydrogens why in your amide this is a site where your hydrogen is going to add so one oxygen is out and two hydrogens are in what do i get r c h 2 n h 2 just see simple isn't it fine suppose if you take uh, four hydrogens let us assume if i take four hydrogens what will happen this four hydrogens two will go and add here and the leftover two will come out as 2 h 2 o okay let's see oxygen is two done now here oxygen is only one hydrogen has become four hy 4 plus 4 5 6 now 7 8 isn't it so what should i do simple logic try to pick up two hydrogens and try to make this product 
yes so let us see so ch3 co nh2 i can add two hydrogens to just prepare this primary amine in the presence of sodium and ethanol convert this ch3 ch2 nh2 because only two hydrogens i added now what is this uh, compound this is called this is obtained from acetic acid isn't it so acetamide this is acetamide now what is this ethyl amine acetamide ethyl amine then let us take with an aromatic amide so i am going to take benzamide now co ch3 i am going to introduce two hydrogens only then what do i get in the presence of sodium and ethanol i am going to get benzene ring with ch2 nh2 yes yeah this is your compound simple don't get confused every time remember reducing agent will go and act at that oxygen position only oxygen here here triple bond here oxygen once you find these reducing agents don't just try to change the sequence or the number of carbon atoms directly go and take out that oxygen and add hydrogen you will get the product and start naming or labeling the product